Hello everyone, I'm Syed Ahmed. In today's session, we will see the equation of SVM. We'll see how to calculate the uh, maximum margin hyperplane. Uh, before that, let's quickly revise what we have done as of now into SVM. We have seen uh, that SVM comes under what supervised learning algorithm can be used for uh, uh, regression as well as classification, mostly used for classification. And uh, what was the principle behind it? What's the working principle uh, behind SVM? It was, uh, it calculates maximum margin hyperplane, right? And if data is into nonlinear form, it will convert that into 3D or higher Ds so that it can be seen as linear data and they it 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 will uh, draw what hyperplane and then convert that into 2d right so the most important thing is what finding that hyperplane which will be called as what maximum margin hyperplane or optimal hyperplane right so before we start let's uh, see into 2d what will be a plane uh, it will be a line so what is the equation of line y equals to ax plus b right I'm, I'm using y equals to x plus b, you can go with y equals to mx plus c also, right? So, into 3D, this line can be represented as wtx plus b equals to 0. Getting it? That's a 3D form of a line. You can say hyperplane. The equation of hyperplane is what? wtx plus b equals to 0. Now, see, for example, if I have a data set here, Taking the same example that we have seen in the last video, the first thing that we have to consider is what finding the support vectors. We see the uh, here what are support vectors? This one is the support vector, and this one is what support vector. We first we have to find that thing, right? And if you see it, let's let's uh, draw a hyperplane. Fine. For example, suppose this is my maximum margin hyperplane which best separates these two classes, fine. So this is what maximum margin hyperplane. So equation of this will be wx plus b equals to 0. Now see your SVM, consider few things. Your equation is what wx plus b equals to 0. It consider two sides of your uh, uh, hyperplane first one the left hand side and the right hand side right you have one type of class here one type of class there right so all the points lying here can be considered either negative or positive right if for example i'm taking this as negative so this will be what this will be called as positive side means all the points that are there all the points means what we have considered this as what vectors all the vectors that lies into this plane will be wx plus b less than or equal to minus 1 at positive side will be considered as wx plus b greater than or equal to 1 fine we are least bother about these points right we are just concerned about support vectors the calculation will be based on what support vector into much uh, into uh, svm right so for this at negative point the equation of this support vector for example s1 i have so for s1 the equation will be wx plus b equals to minus 1 and for this at positive side it will be wx plus b equals to plus 1 called 1 or simply plus 1 getting this part so in svm always remember the first step will be what finding the support vectors fine and then the we will be dividing your according to your hyperplane one side will be called as what positive side one side will be called as negative side fine this is the first thing that we have done now the remaining part we will understand with numerical for example i have a data set and i have divided just for uh, like uh, example just to explain you guys i have just uh, draw that into red and blue fine one class is uh, red and i have denoted in by a circle and with star blue color right so i have this class and if you see there are a lot of points and the main point that we need to consider is what support vectors we have to consider of course and uh, what are support vectors into this case support vector is this one and from this side this one will be this support vector right so what is the coordinate of it the coordinate is 2 comma 0 i'm taking simple example so that we understand how to calculate this and what's the equation of this support vector 
4 comma 0 fine so for example i'm taking this as uh, s1 and this as s2 so that is the step one of your numerical what do you have to do find the support vectors getting it the next step step two is convert this your support vectors into 3d form how to do that see this now what's your s1 s1 is 2 0 right and your what is your s2 s2 is 4 0 right just add 1 1 here we will be calling that as adding bias converting your 2d form into 3d form we just have added 1 z equals to 1 in this case okay so 201 401 will be the equations of your hyperplane to 3d the third thing step 3 is taking parameters for all support vectors now this is something really important see this for example i'm taking for uh, s1 i'm taking alpha 1 and for s2 i'm taking the parameter alpha 2 fine the final answer will be the hyperplane equation will be generated by w bar that will be summation of all alpha i into s of i means whatever we'll be calculating alphas we need to mul uh, multiply with their respective support vectors and will summation of all those uh, calculation will be what final value final equation of your hyperplane we'll see this later on we'll we'll see one by one the step three is it clear what we have to take corresponding parameters we have to take this alpha can be anything you can go with a1 a2 whatever you're comfortable with standard books have used alpha right so i've taken for s1 corresponding parameter will be what alpha 1 for s2 corresponding uh, parameter uh, we are taking as what alpha 2 step 3 uh, sorry step 4 is finding the linear equation find finding the linear equation so see now how to write this linear equation linear equation with respective support vector 1 and linear equation second linear equation with respective s2 support vector second support vector or you can say second s2 support vector fine so with s1 how to write c just write s1 s1 here two times we have how many support vectors two support vectors we have so we'll be simply writing s1 s1 here now see what what, what next calculation we have to do alpha 1 with s1 we have to write here alpha 1 with s1 getting it plus what's the second thing we have second support vector is s2 and its parameter is what alpha 2 so alpha 2 s2 dot s1 getting it and if you remember we have to consider one side as negative side and one side as positive side i'm going with this side as negative and this side as positive what support vector we have considered here is here we have considered s1 here right so it's equa it's it's at negative side for example i'm considering this as negative and this is positive so what we have to write equals to minus one right okay and uh, now we'll be moving with the second linear equation with respective that will be with respect to s2 so we need to write s2 here s2 here getting it and what we have to write here again alpha 1 s1 dot plus alpha 2 s2 dot and this is at positive side so this will be what plus 1 so we got these two equations right now moving on put the value of s1 and s2 in, into this equation we will get alpha 1 what's the value of s1 we have 2 0 1 right so 2 0 1 into we have s1 as 2 0 1 plus sign we have here alpha 2 s2 s1 we have what is s2 s2 is 4 0 1 into what s1 2 0 1 equals to how much minus 1 and here again alpha 1 s1 dot s2 it's 2 0 1 4 0 1 plus alpha 2 4 0 1 4 0 1 equals to plus 1 or simply write 1 fine simplify these equation i'm, I'm simplifying the first equation it'll be 
how to calculate this pretty much simple calculation 2 into 2 4 plus 0 into 0 0 plus 1 into 1 1 so 2 into 2 was 4 4 plus 1 is 5 it will be 5 alpha 1 plus 4 into 2 8 0 into 0 0 1 into 1 1 8 plus 1 that comes out to be 9 alpha 2 equals to minus 1 we got the first equation right what's the second equation 2 into 4 0 into 0 1 into 1 that comes out to be 9 alpha 1 plus 4 into 4 16 0 and 1 16 plus 1 17 alpha 2 equals to plus 1 or simply write 1 got it we got two linear equation solve these linear equations we will get the value of alpha 1 and alpha 2 i hope you know it how to calculate if you don't know let me show you the calculation part uh, how to calculate linear equation to uh, this calculator i have 991 es calculator go to mode we have fifth option as equation and we'll be dealing with first and second only right here we have two support vector so we'll be going with the first one if you have three support vectors we'll be going with the second one fine so i will be going with the first one and i just have to put the values if you know what is the value we have five we have first value second value that we have is nine and sorry first value we have five second value we have nine and uh, third value that we have is minus one right that's at right hand side and then we have second equation is the first value is nine second value is 17 and third va value is 1 so the results comes out to be how much it comes out to be minus 6.5 and second comes out to be 3.5 let me write it it was minus 6.5 and alpha 2 is how much that, that is 3.5 getting the calculation everyone now moving on we got the value of alpha and 1 and alpha 2 i told you initially what is w bar the equation of hyperplane submission of all alpha i with s of i getting it we got the value of alpha 1 and alpha 2 we have support vectors s1 and s2 put all those values so this equation will be what it will be minus 6.5 into alpha 1 with what s1 what we have s1 as s1 was 2 0 1 right plus alpha 2 is how much 3.5 3.5 into 4 0 1 simplify this equation it will be how much minus 6.5 that will be minus 13 it will be 0 right and third will be minus 6.5 plus this will be 14 0 3.5 if you solve this w bar will be equal to 1 0 and minus 3 getting it that is the equation of hyperplane now this is very important we need to decode this right so coming back i hope you got this much clear right so let me write it again let's decode this w bar 1 0 minus 3 the first two is actually w and the third one is bias we say that is b equals to how much it's minus 3 right this will tell me the orientation of my hyperplane if it is 1 0 it will be vertical getting it and if we got w value as for example uh, if i'm getting it as uh, 0 1 it has to be what horizontal if you are getting it as 1 1 it will be at 45 degree getting it so what will be the orientation of my hyperplane i got one zero it has to be vertical line got the first part of your w bar second part is again important what we have b equals to minus three or you can simply write b plus three equal to zero getting it so b is at plus three 
now if you see here we got minus 3 value minus 3 means what we need to plot it at what plus 3 if we got plus 3 we have to plot it at minus 3 right so let's see now again how where, where we'll be drawing it we have uh, it was 1 2 3 4 right we have one uh, here one support vector here and second here right and uh, if you see hyperplane will be drawn vertically because we got w as 1 0 and b as what plus 3 we got b equals to minus 3 here but what we, what i said if it's minus 3 at positive side we have to draw it if it is plus 3 b equals to plus 3 at negative side we have to draw it so through this as we have 1 0 it will be vertical line and it will be at positive plus 3 so this will be what the hyperplane is that clear i hope you got this we'll solve two more example of it into next video so that you can understand